recording? Yes, it is. Okay. Hi, guys. <laughs> I'm in such a good mood because today I sound, yeah, I sound crazy. I am. Today, my, <laughs> my peanut butter arrived <laughs> and this might not seem, I'm not even sponsored by this brand or company. Just insert any peanut butter, one kilogram or yeah, it's one kilogram. Oh, it's one kilogram of peanut butter. But I've been on a like two month peanut butter withdrawal since coming here. I think it's been over two months actually. Um, it's it's bad. <laughs> and I can't find peanut butter, like real peanut butter anywhere close to me in Japan. And no, I'm not like living in Shibuya, Shinjuku and Kogo to like these crazy overpriced foreign supermarkets. I'm not that kind of girl. <laughs> I live a bit outside of that area. So I ordered it online and it finally arrived. And I'm so happy. I'm gonna like eat pe I this isn't gonna last me a week I think it's actually a problem why didn't I order more this is not the topic of this video I just wanted to share this because happiness is in the small things in life and the small thing right now is this one kilogram type of peanut butter that will keep me happy like as long as it is full but anyway let's go to another happy topic which is that I had my first exhibition in like my university this weekend we had the Tori Regesai festival which is for the intermediate art students one of the biggest things in this semester where you like show your artwork in the Tori campus of the Tokyo University of the Arts um, if you don't know I study at Tokyo Geidai and Tokyo Geidai has like m like three campus or maybe four even if you count Yokohama in as well one is in Ueno where I also go for some classes another one is in Kita Senju that's where I don't go because it's mostly like the experimental music campus and then you have the campus in Torida which is like the campus for the GAP program and the campus for intermediate arts program which I'm in um, and yeah so Torida is really like far outside and the campus is like located in such a beautiful spot of nature it actually is my favorite campus that I've been to so far I haven't been to the Yokohama campus but I love the Torida campus because it's just so natural and there's just a lot of stuff we have goats there they they have goats at Torida campus and the cafeteria makes very good homemade food and everything so it's just like kind of like a coming home kind of feeling even though it's in the middle of nowhere and there's no one else around there's not a kombini in walking distance at that campus you know that's the kind of campus it is but I feel like if you make art that's exactly what you're looking for you're looking for something like very far out and very natural and you can just make whatever your imagination tells you and that was exactly what this festival was about like everybody was showcasing their artworks and they were so different but so amazing like the amazing kind of art that my classmates and also the other people in the program made I was just kind of like inspired all over again and it made me fall in love with art again because going to like recognize art museum is one thing but looking at something that like the next generation makes or that people or your peers make and they put their time and effort into it is just a whole nother thing I feel like and it makes you motivated to work just as hard as them as well. <laughs>
I also had great luck and the great opportunity to showcase one of my artworks alongside them. And for me, it was kind of like the first time I feel like showcasing an artwork. Like in my studies back in Germany, of course, we also have showcases and exhibitions. But because I gear more towards the design department in there over there, I've been showcasing more of like design works, which I wouldn't describe necessarily as like art art. <laughs> There's like a small difference for me because one is just self-expression and the other is based on some kind of concept I would feel like. So here we were really free with whatever we wanted to do and because I'm really into touch designer and programming right now I did like an interactive touch designer work. Yeah let's let me talk about this for a bit because as an artist I need to learn to talk about my art I feel like. So I had this program that was running through different loops of visual um, expressions and each of them was interactive so each of them like I had the camera running as well and the camera was capturing the visitors that were coming in so if they would wave or if they would dance it, you would see that inside the artwork in a way and also directed to sound so if you were loud or if you clapped or if you stomped your foot then it would change from one scene to another <laughs> That was the kind of concept and the big like reason I made this is because I was dealing with the topic of lights in the night because since coming here in Japan as I'm coming from the countryside over there it's like dark in the nights there's no sounds there's just the starry sky above your head and here the nights of course are very different because Tokyo doesn't sleep Tokyo is still awake there's so much man-made artificial light at all times of the night you always feel safe there's always something going on and that kind of feeling I wanted to showcase or I wanted the like I didn't want to necessarily transcribe that thing into my artwork but but that was like the feeling that it should have transported so if you were allowed if you were doing a lot of stuff then the artwork would switch very quickly and you would be like very engaged with it like as you are in the city and if you were quiet and if you would just take your time to appreciate each scene it might seem very peaceful and serene as well like just you inside a starry sky moving stars or like looking around the scene like that kind of feeling so that was the base uh explanation for my artwork i guess yeah i hope you understood it <laughs> i feel like a lot of people didn't but i it, since it was also my first time showcasing something um i've been very like stressed the days leading up to it because the technical stuff didn't work out the way i imagined it i also had problems with my computer shutting down the whole time and actually on the day the first day of the exhibition i overslept because in the night we had a power off here in the house and so the whole electricity was gone and my alarm clock didn't go off and my laptop didn't load so I had no battery and then I had to rush to the campus. I was already an hour late and everything and then the battery didn't work. It was honestly a nightmare. It's just something that can obviously only happen to me. Also it was pouring rain that day so I went into a cabini to buy the most overpriced umbrella that you could find. Um, and the moment I stepped outside again the rain was gone. Honestly my luck sometimes just leaves me and then I have to run against life I feel like. That was kind of one of those days. But yesterday, Sunday, the second day of the exhibition, everything went smoothly and everything went well. And I also fixed the te technical problems that I had with my artwork. So I was very happy about that. Yeah, also, I guess in this video, I just wanted to show you around the Toriya campus a little bit because I feel like the Toriya campus is amazing in a way that you can also see so many different things. We have a lot of like workshops there, wood workshop, a glass workshop. There were amazing glass artists there on Saturday that were doing live performances. Um, of how to make glass stuff and it was amazing and then yesterday the clay workshop made like a pit fire I forgot the Japanese name for it what's the Japanese name for the pit fire wait a second anyway they were doing that and that was amazing to see even though I smelled like smoked bacon afterwards I also bought like I want to show you a lot of the artists at campus uh, like the ceramic artists were also selling their clay works um, for honestly too cheap prices like you can like it's cheaper than if you buy something in Tokyo and it's just as beautiful and it's like handmade and there's not nothing like it. So I bought like this bowl here, which I think is so beautiful. And it didn't even cost me like 25 euro, which is a joke for like handmade clay pottery that has to be burned, has to be glazed, has to be made. So honestly, it's a steal and it's so beautiful. And I, I love clay works. I'm like collecting them from different countries I go to because clay to me is just like a craftsmanship that is so beautiful. And so innate to human nature like humans have been making clay works for so many years and it's just something that will keep for so long like I might have this bowl if I'm like 80 and slurping soup out of that or something so that kind of sentiment I really love um, that's why I bought it <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, as you can tell, I'm very happy. I feel like this weekend really gave me another push into like, yes, I'm on the in the right space right now. Because it also was the first time I really felt part of something in university. Because obviously it's hard as a foreign student if you can't speak perfect Japanese. It's hard to communicate always. And I always feel bad because I want to make friends. I want to talk to people. But it's hard if my Japanese isn't up to par and nobody can speak English. This weekend also over my artwork I had a lot of different talks with different people. And I feel like if you're there in the space and if you talk to people without being pressured like this has to be perfect Japanese. You're just trying to communicate your thoughts. That makes it easier for me to talk sometimes and to understand other people. And I had some great chats about the works and different works. It just made me feel part of something, like I belong. Like I'm not the outsider who just showcases alongside all of these people here, but I am with them, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, and that was great. I'm staring at that tub of peanut butter that is sitting like right in front of me. And I'm like so close to getting a spoon and just, no, I need to keep this for a little bit longer. I need to get this out of sight again. <laughs> Much about the experience of exhibiting at Tokyo Gerai for the first time. You can call me an artist now because I am apparently. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> no, actually, maybe I should start calling myself an artist. Because words have power and if I don't start calling it for what it is, the dream that I'm living right now, then that's not what it is. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for watching this video and watching me ramble about this experience that was honestly amazing and I'll keep and carry with me inside of my heart for so long. Um, and yeah, I hope you're all doing well as well. I send like a lot of, lot of different hugs to everybody out there. And as always, wherever you are, have a good day, have a good night, have a good morning. Uh, I'm sending so many hugs and bye and be back on my channel. <laughs>